Jesus, man. Yo, what is good? My anime faithful. What is good? This guy is so annoying. So, I just wanted to get into a quick, quick thing that I've noticed within these two episodes that I've watched of this show. So, I will be, like, I don't know everything that's happened and whatnot or how good the quality is going to get within time and stuff like that. But, what I do know is from the two first episodes, like, what the heck, man. If it, I'm going to put up, there's going to be, my screensaver is literally going to be an image from the anime that they should have used in the, sh- not, not a, uh, it's an image from the anime, like, but it's like a state of how the animation is actually coming out. Like, it, it looks so, it looks so freaking clean, but of course they would never use this, right? Because reasons, um, I don't know, I'm really, <laughs> I'm pretty disappointed with how this is, like, playing out, but to be... Are you kidding me, bro? This raid boss is annoying. But, to be fair, the whole reason I've seen, um... Like, I've even gone into this was because it did have a... It was definitely Berserk. If you have seen Berserk 2018, you cannot tell me, or Berserk 2016, that this is not the same studio, practically... Or literally the same studio. There's no way you can tell me it's a different people. Because the way that these fights were first drawn out in the first episode. Was 110% gut style. And a little bit of Baki. But to be fair. It was so hard to get into this. Like the character seems cool. He seems cocky. Seems like he knows his position in the uh, world. In the Karen scheme of. If he's about to get in a fight, he knows about where he sits in said fight. He's not going into a fight that he already knows he should be getting bodied. But more or less, he's going to... uh, He might say, take some damage. But at the end of the day, he's probably going to win. You know, so that's the one thing that was cool about him. But the other thing about him is he's kind of like... I don't know, he's kind of like a rough version of Goku when it came down to just his demeanor of, you know, how he's, oh, do you want to fight? Hi, this is my name. That's fight, you know, like, that's that's kind of all I got from him. I mean, that's literally what Goku did to Beerus. That's what Goku did to, he would have did to Zeno if he would didn't know <laughs> Zeno was, uh, you know, not a martial artist in such a way of speaking. He would probably still be begging Zeno to fight him. You know, it's just, it's just one of these guys that he doesn't need to beg because he knows the type of people who are going to fight him off rip, like without any questions asked. But at the same time, uh, with this week, we see him, I mean, with the two episodes I've seen, I've seen him fight three people pretty much. And all three of those people uh only one kind of stood a chance and then once that person even started going in on him it really turned into a one-sided battle like i don't know it was still it was still a good battle don't get me wrong with this in the second episode the big the big blonde guy that gets bodied that was a good fight and it was well done like just the way it all translated how it all was you know like explained why he's winning why he's doing certain things that was dope, but then the part that just disheartens me so much is the fact that we then go into the fact of them going to the table and talking about just why this guy fights, why is he choosing to be in a tournament that has all these bad repric- you know, like, if you lose, you're pretty much get it, you're gonna get hurt, you know what I mean, like, your stuff is bound to happen to you, that combo's dirty, um, and that's why it was like, it was kind of, you know, just ridiculous or crazy that they're going the way that they're going. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, she's she's asking the question, like, why are you doing it? And he's just like, looking like he should look. He looks so freaking clean, guys. I, I almost cried a little bit thinking of what they had done done to these characters what did you have to go through to 
truly sit on the thought process that no this 2d like guys please go watch if you are not going to watch any of this show because of how it looks in general i'm like i said the clip the the thumbnail is going to be literally from the show a actual picture from what this show should actually look like throughout the whole entirety i don't care if they could only give me five episodes if it looked like that i don't care if they could only give me six how about you take all the time necessary to make it look like this because people will champion it instead we got these guys looking like some weird cgi project that they just came up with on the fly i mean i'm seeing blood squirt out of this guy's arm and out of his chest and i'm like oh either he's really really wounded or he barely got scratched you could not tell the difference you could not look at that scene and be like oh yeah he took a huge ginormous gash and he's losing so much blood and that was intense you couldn't tell me that from the way it was conveyed through this animation but if it was how they were all sitting down at the table when they're eating at the end of episode two and if you tell me if they did that same scene with him getting gashed up and stuff like that it would look exactly the same and you still wouldn't be able to tell if he's really injured or not get out of here bro get out of here this show would have been so amazing if they just did that if they just went in and gave us all what every anime fan usually wants and that's the normal 2d animation you know like Oh, it it just burns me up inside to see that not only is it incorporated throughout the show somewhere, maybe at random times, so be it, but it's there. There was somebody on the staff that was like, no, we should probably get some 2D in here. Look at how good this looks. And someone else was like, yeah, but look how much money we're saving on our Netflix cash cow. And then we could start making more stuff that looks exactly like it because we still have more Netflix money. Like, cool, bro, but now no one wants to watch your show and they're trying to figure out why they even gave it to you in the first place. For instance, there's people that were telling me, oh, man, you're you're one of the bravest people, not brave people, but you're one of the more luckier people who could have sat through Baki. Like, Baki was amazing story-wise. Everything that was going on in Baki was so dope. And then I just got used to the animation. I stopped talking about the animation. But with this show, I feel like the character and the story progression of how fast they're trying to just jump into this whole, oh, you need to fight for me and the business, $100 billion is on the line already and you've known me for less than five minutes. Will you fight and never portray me and be my go-to guy for the rest of the Like, all right, so this that was all episode one <laughs> you know like so what what do we get in episode two? Oh, a fight okay and what happens in episode you know what i mean like it felt like it's just going for the finish line it's like oh we see that we see the end and let's get straight to it kind of like how baki skipped everything and went straight to the you know the people who were highly um wanted for whatever their crimes were and stuff all of a sudden we're supposed to just know who Baki and his father and all these people are when w this is the first time we're ever seeing Netflix drop the show. It's almost as if Netflix was guessing that everybody who was going to watch the show had already seen those parts of Baki, right? Or some type of... They just It seemed like a conclusional thing. Like, oh, yeah. In, in conclusion, anybody who watches this show probably has already seen the show, so we should jump straight into where the show left off and... At first, it's kind of like the Spider-Man thing. Like, no one wanted to see Uncle Ben die in Spider-Man. But for some reason, everybody thought that no one wanted to see anything from beginning to end with Baki. Okay, I'm done ranting. The show could be amazing. It has 12 episodes out already because Netflix does that thing where they just hold a show back as long as they possibly can until it's all dubbed, subbed, Japanese, or Japanese, Italian, you know, Portuguese, all these different languages, they make sure they have every single language that they can, and they put it out on the day with everything. I respect that. That's exactly what um, the formula that Amazon just did with the boys, right? It's a it's a marketing scheme to make sure that they binge watch it all, 
and then after they're done binge watching it all, whoever else is on their um, devices watches it too, and then you spread the word. But when you have shows that don't look aesthetically pleasing to the eyes to certain people, no one's going to talk about it. No one's going to want to talk about it. That's the problem. But there's a character in here that supposedly is going to, uh, you know, come back to a crossover with between this show and how much does your dumbbells weigh? How many kilograms does your dumbbells weigh that you lift? And I thought that was pretty cool. And I really wanted to see both of these shows look remotely the same, but... It looks like the people who got the best studio was the Dunbell Show, but I just wanted to let—I just wanted to put this out there. Do you guys even want to hear my opinions on the full series? Like, do you want my overview of it all? Because I'll watch it all before doing anything else on it, and just give it a full-out judgment. But from the first two episodes, as of right now, you know where I'm standing on it, and. I can go and watch it all and give you a video some other time. It could be one of those fill-in episodes I tell you guys about, like Super, for instance. Uh, there was only one week or one episode yesterday, so I put in Super, you know. Um, that could be one of those animes that I do, but an over-review for it all, and then it's just one of the. I, I will do that. Screw it. I'll do it because that just makes sense. This is the channel of anime, and that's why I wanted to bring it up to you guys to see how you like it. Is there any real reason why I should not have any doubt in this show while I already am doubting it? <laughs> is there anyone out there who's enjoying it and wants to fill me in on what the this show is actually doing right? Or is this just another way to get people to go and really want to read the source material because of how m much they're going to butcher this show? So with all that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. And I will definitely talk to you in the next one. So with that, peace.